So let's now talk about a really, really, really important element. We're drawing a list around this. It's dynamics. It's dynamics. It's it's the rise and fall of the level of sound, the velocity in which you're attacking the string, or if you're attacking it or playing legato or pulling off or hammering on. All these incredibly expressive ways of creating shape, because that along with things that we'll talk about as far as creating narrative motifs and that type of thing, it's also the dynamic um, to get from point A to point B, if you're, you're telling a story, right? You just don't want a straight line. You could have a straight line to go from here to there. That's going to be a very boring story. You know, if you played everything with the same, whatever, you know, if you played everything at the same dynamic, boy, it's going to be really hard to, to keep interest. It's like if somebody talked in a monotonic way and they spoke like this and there was no rise and fall of dynamic, you wouldn't be very interested in what I had to say. But you know, you've got a lower part of your voice. You've got a higher part of your voice. And you will do all these things with your dynamic to speak. And so we need to have the same part of, you know, when we're playing, to have that kind of dynamic to really, to really engage, you know, to really show that emotion, to draw the listener in. Um, so to, to, to give some examples and to talk about it, I'm, I'm again sticking with a fairly clean tone. The more distortion we have, you know, if a lot of us tend to be, you know, rock soloists, but I don't want to, I don't want to misjudge or label you. I, don't, I haven't met you yet, but when I do, I'll hear your tone. Of, okay, they got a high gain sound, and that's beautiful. But sometimes that's very compressed, and so you can have dynamics with a hot lead sound. I mean, of course, I can, you know. The nature, the nature of distortion is you, you know, you are compressing the sound a bit when it, when it gets into the distorted uh, frequencies, and so you have less, you know, less frequency range to be expressive. So, for me, when I think about an expressive tone with really lots of dynamic range, it would be a cleaner sound. Um, and some of my favorite guitar players that I've learned dynamics from, you know, were usually usually playing with a lower gain tone when I recognize, oh boy, listen to. You know, Larry Carlton's playing, again, just a, a textbook for me for electric lead guitar expression, you know, and also, of course, Jeff Beck. I mean, maybe the most expressive, you know, solid body electric guitar player ever. But Larry's tone and... How he attacked the string, how he would land the note. Somebody once said to me that I have a thousand different ways of landing the same note. Uh, and I was very complimented by that, but I was like, I, I never thought of it like that, but it made sense once I realized that, you know, I can play that phrase so many different ways. Uh, so let's just look at what leads to that. What leads to that dynamic? What can you work on? to get more dynamic out of your playing. Um, so the first thing I think I mentioned was just velocity. You know, if, you're, if we're just playing with our, our pick and we're... It's pretty incredible the range of volume and sound and tone you can get just out of how you're striking the string. You know, you might practice this, how lightly You know, again, with a more open, cleaner sound, you'll have much more, much more range. But 